Luke Pomfret, Senior Talent Manager for the Sunrisers. You've been travelling around the counties. How is everyone getting on in their winter training? Yeah, really, really well. Um, it's been quite a lot of driving and quite a lot of mileage, but it's absolutely worth it to get there and see everyone. Um, seen majority of the counties so far, those who I haven't had a chance to see yet, got booked in dates early in the, early in the new year to, to get out, see them, see the players and just really en engage with our, with our wider county partners. We were recently up at Finchley uh, with the Middlesex women's side uh, where you mentioned to us that there were a number of promising players. How, um, how does and how is the talent identification process working? Um, so we've got quite a, we feel like we've got quite a robust talent ID process. Um, so we speak to all our counties on a regular basis and they'll provide us with names of players, skill sets and where they think they would sit in our pathway, whether seniors, academy or EPP. And then we go out during the winter, out to the counties, see the players in action, chat to them, chat to the coaches. And then we have sort of a long list. And then in the summer, uh, we have a team of independent scouts as well as myself, Kane, our EPP lead, and Trev as well, going out and watching them, uh, watching them at games and filing reports on them. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you've been uh, travelling around all the counties, um, earning that mileage. Um, how much of an opportunity do girls from every county um, have of joining the Sunrisers EPP, the Sunrisers Academy, and ultimately the, the main Sunrisers side? Um, it's a great opportunity for everyone. So uh, across our EPP and our academy, we have every single county represented. So Cricket East is Bedfordshire and Hunter, so we even have one, at least one player from each of those. So we've got 10 counties represented from, from within our region, and there's never been a better time to be a, a young female cricketer with the programme that we're hoping to put in place, the amount of talent identification going on and just the opportunities are, are really, really exciting. Um, we recently announced uh, the ac academy squad uh, for next year. How excited are you to continue to work with uh, some of the players that have stayed on with the academy and work with the new players that are coming in? Oh, I'm incredibly excited. We've been going, been going just over a month now and the, the skill level in that group is brilliant. The application, the effort, it's... It's fantastic. The, the future of the Sunrisers looks really, really bright, in my opinion. Um, just a, a really good group of young players to work with. You just mentioned there about the uh, future. Um, Flo Miller, Catherine Speed and Mia Rogers, to name just a few, all played last season. Um, a lot of them playing uh, a lot of the season as well in both competitions. Um, how much motivation is this for the rest of the academy squad to ultimately make the first team? Yeah, it's, it's great motivation. There's, there's a lot of the girls have, have seen their peers come through already and make that step up. And I think that they're, they're almost like, well, I want to have a go. And they're, they're all working really hard to try and achieve that. There's some real, really exciting young cricketers in there. And uh, also for those three, again, it's a brilliant opportunity. They've been able to do that and testament to the work that, that Trev does with the seniors that they've been able to transition up. And again, hopefully they can, they can go from strength to strength in that senior squad as well. Well, Luke, thank you for joining us here at Cambridge and have a good Christmas. Cheers, you too.